Spring break is in full swing, and a lot of parents are concerned about their teens or college students traveling. We've got NBC News senior cor consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn talking about digital safety, something I don't think a lot of people think about. Vic. Listen, I have you two going to the end in any sort of bracket, no, jacket bracket. So. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> we just no like brainer. saying bracket okay. jacket. Yeah, yeah. All right, so when we're talking uh, digital safety, yeah. one of the top things, location sharing and privacy. You know what? Young people already do this and travel experts and even the State Department say you should enable location sharing with your teens or your young people who are traveling. You just go to the Find My app or the Find My Device app if you're on an Android and it's very simple. You broadcast to a circle of trusted individuals that you feel safe and secure with and it's also helpful if you leave your device somewhere you'll know exactly where to find it. The other thing, Jim Stickley, he's a cybersecurity expert. We worked with him on the hidden camera story. He said pay attention to your phone. Sometimes on these trips. People will saddle up a stranger, a friendly person. Hey, I left my phone. Do you mind if I just borrow your phone to make a call? Oh. You want to be nice and helpful. All it takes is a few seconds for them to get into your Find My app and add your phone to their phone, and oh. then suddenly they're tracking you in real time oh, and you don't creepy. realize it. So hang on to that phone. Keep it secure. And finally, beware of phone spies. This is a thing. You're sitting in a restaurant, a bar, you're uh -huh. not paying attention. But da, da, da. You put in your passcode, uh -huh. and someone's watching, and they go, okay, one, two, three, four, uh -huh. if that's your passcode, or whatever it is. Then later, you put your phone down, you're having a drink. They come by, they swipe your phone. Oh, Within sweet. seconds, they can change your passcode, oh. change your face ID, and they can have a field day with all the financial information we have on our phones nice. these days. Think about it. And in your notes apps, how many people save their credit card information and other private information? So beware of anybody who's looking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. When it comes to social media, I'm sure a lot of folks want to brag about where they're at or what they're doing. Totally. But what are the rules when it comes to that? Especially with young people, Dylan. It's so tempting. You want to post when you're on vacation. You want to post mm -hmm. in real time. Encourage your young people, if they can't wait until they get back from the trip, mm -hmm. at the very least, wait until they've left that area of the beach or the hotel yeah. and post not in real time. Post right. later on. Be aware of what you're putting in the photo. Are you standing in front of your hotel room? Right. The door, mm -hmm. the, you know, the putting number. your location, the number people don't pay attention to those things. It's very important from a cybersecurity standpoint. And then you also want to think about location sharing on the apps. Yeah. So you want to share locations with your family. You don't want your apps live broadcasting where you are. And a lot of them will location share unless you go in there to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and turn it off. Snapchat has something called Snap maps. Mm -hmm. It is live broadcasting and it can share your location with strangers. So you want to tell your kids to go into ghost mode on Snapchat mm -hmm. and toggle off and make themselves invisible. Turn off live location sharing. That is very, very important. Ah, okay. These are great tips. Yeah. Um, what about international destinations? Are there any extra precautions that, that you should be taking? Yeah, when you're going international, always go to the State Department and check for any travel advisories. This year, for example, they've updated some of their uh, advisories on the Bahamas, Jamaica, Mexico, really popular destinations. You also want to make sure that you know where you're going. What is the U.S. Embassy contact information? Save that to your phone now when you have perfect Wi-Fi, internet connections. Have that in your phone in case of an emergency. Storing your passport digitally, always a good idea in case you lose your physical passport. That just means taking a picture and storing it either in a secure album on your phone. You can actually password protect your albums on your phone. Didn't know that either. Yeah. Katie Nastro with Going.com says there's um, an app called One Password that she likes for storing travel documents securely. So that's something really important to do when you're traveling internationally. And finally, there's something called the STEP program, um, which is Safe Traveler Enrollment Program. This allows the, the State Department to alert you in real time of anything that's happening where you are. You can also even see the incidents of violence and crime in specific cities and even neighborhoods. My God, wow. you, you know so much about everything. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, guys. Friday. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.